In today's video, we visit the most beautiful beach we've ever been to in the UK with gorgeous white sand and clear waters. Also, we take a look around the Minak Theatre, which sits on the cliffs looking down over the beach and the turquoise sea. We use the Land's End coaster to get to Porthcurno, which I highly recommend. It's a hop on and hop off bus which goes around in a loop from St Ives to Land's End and it cost us only £15 for a day's family ticket. It was a really nice scenic journey and we got to find out why it's called the Land's End Coaster, um, going up and down all the narrow hills, but it was really good fun. It took us about an hour to get from Penzance to Porthcurno. The bus doesn't take you to the Minak Theatre because it's up a very steep, narrow road. So it stops in the car park and you can either go down to the beach or walk up to the theatre. Once we got off the bus, we still had half an hour wait um, for our booked garden and theatre tickets. So we've stopped at this really beautiful cafe um, just to refresh and get a drink and use the toilets. Robin. The walk up wasn't too bad, but we are used to walking. It took about 10 minutes and it is up a steep hill. Be warned, if you do want to go and have a look around, the tickets are pre-bookings only. Um, we were lucky and we booked that morning and there was still availability. We paid £10 for an adult and £5 for the children. And it's definitely worth every penny. And I know it looks beautiful in the videos, but actually being here... Words can't describe how stunning it is. Um, and if you can catch it on a good day, it's just perfect. Very peaceful, isn't it? Look at this bit here. Oh my goodness. So that is Porf Carno. Look how beautiful the water is. Can you see this? Unfortunately for me, my fear of heights took over after a little while. Um, all the steep steps um, made my legs feel like jelly, so I come up for a little rest to admire the views while Jason and the kids went down to watch the little show. And now we headed down to the beautiful beach. Um, you can actually walk down the side of the cliff using these really steep steps, but I got Jason to have a little look over and even he said no, so it must have been bad. Before we got to the beach, we decided to have a little break for something to eat. We did pack a picnic with us today, as always, but the pasties smelt really good, so we thought this was the perfect spot to try our first Cornish pasty, and it was really good. So we've got two Cornish pasties, two ice creams. How much was it, Jace? Twenty pounds. Twenty pounds. Nineteen pounds. Nineteen pounds. <laughs> Are you okay? Are you okay about this? I'm just recovering from the shock. <laughs> we were then back in the car park to go down to the beach. There is a toilet block in the car park, but not once you're down on the beach. It does take about 10 minutes to walk down. Um, you come to a point where one way it's a steep path and the other way there's some steps. Um, either way, they're both quite tricky to get down. 
but once you get down there it is really beautiful the sand is so soft and the water is so clear um it really feels like you're somewhere else not in england at all and if you can come on a nice hot day it really would feel like paradise um we've come on a nice day but the water is definitely really really cold um jason still got in for a swim and the kids like to paddle um but yeah, we've had a bit of a bad start to our summer, so the water was freezing cold, but it still was a beautiful day.